How much do songwriters make on Pandora when our music is streamed? What about Tidal? More importantly, what kind of sales goals are we looking at so we can pay rent? Well, fellow songwriter, keep watching, because today we're going to find out who pays songwriters the most, Tidal or Pandora. Let's blast off and get started. <laughs> Konnichiwa friends, I'm Jonathan Miller and welcome back to Jonathan Miller Music helping you become a better indie artist. I make futuristic and outer space inspired dance pop music and every Wednesday on this channel I'm helping others take their music to level 2. If that sounds good, consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell. If not, then have fun doing all this research by yourself. But just FYI, music royalties are very complicated and not a lot of fun to figure out. So instead, why don't you just subscribe and let me do all the work for you? See how nice I am or something? Think about that. All right, so if you haven't seen my video on who pays the most, Apple Music or Spotify, I definitely recommend you check that out because this video is kind of a continuation of that. There's a link in the description below if you wanna watch because there's a lot of good information in there for you. Anyway, let's just dive right in and start by taking a look at Pandora. At the time of this recording, Pandora Premium currently pays out on average 0.00133 cents per one stream of your music. To be clear, for the sake of this video, we're going to focus on Pandora Premium because Pandora as a whole is a bit of a complicated beast as it pertains to music royalties and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a little bit but for now let's just keep things really simple. Now the current average cost of living here in the United States is about $1,500 a month so if you're all about paying rent and thinking food would be nice but you only want it paid by your Pandora songwriting royalties that is awesome awesome. I hope you're getting the 1,127,820 plays per month that you need for that. What's that? You're saying you want your many plays on Pandora to pay your living expenses for a year? Wow. I am proud of you. Getting 13.5 million plays from one streaming platform is quite the feat. Good for you. But maybe we should take a look at Tidal now and see how all that would break down. Per stream on average, Tidal pays out 0 0.01250 cents per stream, according to Digital Music News. Yes, my friend, over one whole cent per stream of your music. And I think you know where we're going with this. But let's do the math again just for fun. To make 1500 US dollars a month from only your streams on Tidal, you're gonna need to pull about 120,000 streams. If you want Tidal paying your rent and your expenses all year long like they should, you'll need about 1.44 million streams in a calendar year. To put this in perspective, songwriter, it takes you 89.62% less plays on Tidal to pay your living expenses per year than it does on Pandora. So obviously Tidal wins. Thank you, Jay-Z. Remember, Tidal's slogan is the first artist-owned streaming platform. So artists and writers need to always be at the forefront of their mind. Now, does that mean there's no money in Pandora at all? No. Remember how I mentioned before that Pandora is kind of its own beast when it comes to law and music royalties? It's what's called a non-interactive and interactive platform, meaning that you can both choose what songs to play and not choose what songs to play. So depending on your license and percentage of ownership of a song, many different types of royalties can be generated from one stream of your song. There are even artists out there who own all the rights to their songs and don't have a label to go through, and they're earning upwards of $20,000 from Pandora. Again, the power of being independent, but that whole complicated flowchart is for another time to discuss. For now, as I tell all songwriters and indie artists, get your music onto as many platforms as you can. All that money adds up. Maybe Tidal and Pandora can pay your rent this month. Now, wouldn't that be nice? So that is who pays songwriters more. In this round, the crown goes to Tidal. But question of the video, what is your favorite streaming platform and why? Leave me a comment below letting me know. If you want to check out that video about Apple Music versus Spotify and who pays the most, or if you want to check out my video on whether or not Spotify is killing the music industry, there are links in the description below so you can check them out. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new. I put out new videos every single Wednesday. Once again, I'm Jonathan Miller. And I will see you next time. See you later.